I'd like to thank you all for coming out. It's really great to see so many people interested in this issue. My name is Irene McInnes, and I'm with the Campaign to End Sanctions Against the People of Iraq. This is an organization, well, this is a group of organizations and individuals that came together about five years ago because they were really concerned about the stories they were hearing about the sanctions on Iraq and the, um, the suffering, the, the, especially the children in Iraq, were going through because of the sanctions. And uh, six members of SASAPI went um, three years ago, and since then we've been extremely busy putting on forums like this and uh, organizing. We organized a caravan across Canada to 31 countries. We were asked by the Standing um, Committee of Foreign Affairs and International Trade to send a um, person to address that committee. And we, um, but I will tell you a little bit more about what we do later in the program. But um, you see this is absolutely packed. And outside, um, I'm told it still goes round um, the corner. And um, part of the success of getting people out is because of our endorsers. There are 28 organizations and prominent individuals in um, Greater Vancouver that have endorsed this event, and eight um, media sponsors. And I'd like to thank them, I'd like us to give them a hand, as well as this church that is putting up with us and all the other stuff. I especially like to thank our guests, Sven Robinson, who um, um, I think everybody knows here. And our guest from uh, New York, um, Scott Ritter, who I will introduce later. I just give you a quick outline of the program so you know what's happening. Um, first, Sven Robinson will speak, um, give a short talk about um, sanctions and uh, the Canadian perspective. And uh, then we will have Scott speak about weapons of mass destruction and uh, why there is no case for war on Iraq. And then I will um, give a brief overview of what we've been doing uh, in SASAPI, which is what the Campaign to End Sanctions of Iraq is called. And uh, we will... Um, Sorry, somebody's waving at me. <laughs> and, uh, and, and some of our ongoing things, and some things we really want to get into to try and stop this war. And then we will go into question and answer period. I'm sure after both Sven and Scott have spoken that you'll have lots of questions, and we will have about 45 minutes for that. So thank you very much for your patience, all those that uh, came so early to... Um, line up and I understand it's raining too. So thank you. And <clears throat> now, so I'd like to introduce Sven, although I presume everybody in this room knows who Sven Robinson is. <laughs> he's been a member of parliament since 1979 and he's always been on the front line where um, um, where there's a justice issue, not only in Canada or in Vancouver or Burnaby Douglas. By the way, I forgot to say, in case anybody didn't know, he's a member of parliament for Burnaby Douglas and he's a foreign affairs critic for the NDP. And this job he takes extremely seriously. He goes out to the countries to see what the situation is. And in this vein, he went to Iraq in in 1990, um, just before the Gulf War, I believe. And then he's been back in the last two and a half years, twice, um, to see what the sanctions are doing, sanctions that our government supports. And I think he's the only MP that's actually gone to find out what has 
um, what the effect has been on these sanctions. Um, I mean, sorry, what's, what these, the effects of the sanctions have been. So um, it's um, very fitting that he comes to talk to us. He went to the hospitals in Iraq. He didn't just go and talk to the diplomats like a lot of the politicians did. He went to talk to the mums. He saw the, the babies who were suffering from leukemia with depleted uranium. And I'm sure he's going to tell you all about that. So first, can we welcome Sven?